Hello and welcome in to the comment show once again. I've got my sexy yellow and black tracksuit on. Look at this And I've recently been fed and I'm mentally ready to blow your collective minds. I mean, it might be all right, just, you know, just watch it till the end, please. Our first comment comes from Blue Forever and he said, Hazard making Kieran regret his word week in, week out that he said about him not being the best player in the league. No, he isn't. Thank you very much. I believe in a previous episode, I said something like he will probably bang this season, but I just wasn't having him as the best player in the league yet. I'm still not having him as the best player in the Premier League, to be honest. He's so good at the moment, but I'm just, I'm just not having it. I'm not entirely sure why I'm not having it, but it's probably because I watch City every week, so I'm perpetually in awe of Kevin De Bruyne, even though he's been injured. I'm fully aware that they're different players in different positions, but if you're going to say best player in the league, then that encompasses every single position. Just give me that, that absolute beautiful ginger passing god any day of the week. This video has also gone out just after the Chelsea versus Manchester United game, where inevitably Hazard has probably banged a hattie, ran over to the TV cameras and revealed a shirt with a personal attack on me. In the shocking event that that somehow hasn't happened and Manchester United have managed to be so goddamn rubbish and win, I would just like to say a couple things. Every and any win now is just papering over the cracks for Mourinho. Personally, I want him to stay because it's proper fun watching United fans get wound up every single week. But if I was Ed Woodward, Woodward, Ed Wood, Woodward, yep, I would sack him, sack myself, and then get my name changed by deed poll to something a little bit less ridiculous. Footballing wise though, it's weird to watch a team that's so dependent on Pogba having a good game. Like if they win, it often seems to be his doing. Oh, he's great, he's brilliant, he won them the game, he was so good today, why doesn't he do that every game? If they lose, it seems to be because Pogba was crap. He's the only saving grace in that United side to be honest, everyone else is awful. Paul Scholes said that even Messi couldn't save that United team, and I think he's probably right. I've never agreed with that man. He did a horrible thing to Pablo Zabaleta. And Zabaleta is a lovely man. Pogba should just leave and go to Barcelona, to be honest. And according to the mirror, ooh, he has agreed a deal in principle to move there. Look at me, using traditional media as a source where they've likely just made it up. But you know, what are you gonna do? I've already said it now. Cool. Our next comment comes from Menez18, and he's always chomping at the bit for a comment, and he's got it, he's got one in here. If Man City didn't sign Aguero back in the day, they wouldn't have won half of their trophies by now, even with any other quality striker. Uh, you know what, I'll agree to that, I'll keep it brief, but Aguero has arguably been one of the best, if not the best, Premier League striker of all time. But I would actually argue Yaya Torre was the most important player we bought to take us through the transition of what we were to what we are now. His goals in the semi-final and final of the FA Cup, as well as important goals in games such as the one against Newcastle in the run-in to winning that title, makes him the most important signing of the Sheikh Mansour era. But they should all have statues outside the Etihad. That 2010-11 team gave a 15-year-old lispy boy lots of footballing hope. Love that team. I love Gareth. I want to kiss Gareth Barry on the mouth. <laughs> that, that wasn't even in the script, just said it. Mad. I don't actually want to. Najib Anwar said this on Hot Takes. Hot Takes knows it can't compete with the comments show, which is why it has moved to a Thursday. Hot Takes may get way more views than the comments show, but that doesn't show the full picture. Hot Takes is on the Football Daily channel. It averages about 70k views per episode, and the channel has nearly 1.5 million subscribers. The comments show, meanwhile, is on Euro Football Daily where it averages about 30K per video, but with a sub base of only 300K. So with nearly a fifth of the subscriber base, the comment show isn't far off doing half of the views of a hot takes video. Ooh, controversial. So with that incredibly important information, I think we can come to the conclusion that if we scaled up this operation and I got a nice new fancy set, I mean, it would still have to be completely green. And if Football Daily invested in surgery to make my tongue smaller so I could pronounce the letter S just a little bit better, then I reckon within a year we could easily do bigger numbers than Despacito. Every episode. Our next comment comes from Gabandi Booganu. Gabandi Booganu. Ooh, and it was on hot takes. Please stop the new editing. It was way better before. You were trying too hard to be funny with the editing. You were fine before. Please stop it. Would like to keep watching your content. All right, Gabandi. 
What do you mean it was way better before? I'm pretty sure I edited the first ever hot takes. It's literally the same as it has always been. If anything, it's gotten more streamlined and less janky. That, that's what, that's me pretending janky. Okay, as every week has gone by, just you wait until I get put in charge of editing Sunday Vibes. I'm gonna f that shit up. I'm gonna ruin it for everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Sunday Vibes 1 and all. It's me, Chris and Pat, in the pub to answer your burning questions. The first one was sent in by Mostly TMO. He says, which England player deserves a call-up but is not a regular at their club? Ooh, good Anybody question. Any ideas? But regardless of how it's edited, please do keep watching our content, Gabandi, because I would like to be able to afford to eat. Thank you. Our next comment comes from Ruben Limon. Probably not French, just, you know, wanted to say it like that. Hey, Kieran, how's it going, mate? How, how's life treating you? Oh, Ruben. Ruben, Ruben, Ruben. It's tough. You know what, it's really tough. I bought a Hovis wholemeal loaf the other day and I combined it with ultra light clover butter and I don't want to be dramatic, but it's really, really put me off bread. And if you are unaware, bread to me is like water to a fish. Take it away from me and I'll thrash about struggling to breathe before dying in the street. Do any of you ever click on this video and just halfway through just think, this is a channel about European football, isn't it? Why is this talking about bread? Mental. 30,000 people click on this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but thank you. Love it. Let's stand back up again. I'm over the bread thing. Stephen Koshi asks the next comment. Kieran, it's time you pull a Justin Timberlake, mate. What do you mean, Koshi? Do you mean I'm going to accidentally reveal a Jackson member's breast during a live performance? Am I going to star in a film with Mila Kunis? I hope so. Am I going to go solo after Michael Jackson calls me and says that he wants to do a duet just with me and not with the rest of NSYNC? Am I going to randomly buy MySpace in 2011 for literally no reason at all? Anyway, I really, really, really hope it's the Mila Kunis one. Just, you know, hi Mila. Our next comment comes from Amaya Perangipi. Paco Alcafer will be Spain's top striker. And before you mention it, that is how it's pronounced. Paco Alcafer, thank you very much, because Pato says so, and he's a professional knowledge man. Anyway, there is every chance that he will be, especially as he scored 10 goals in just 277 minutes of football so far this season. However, are you aware there's actually a fair few strikers even better than him right now? Who are they, I hear you ask? It's the entire front line of Schalke. I mean, I'm obviously taking the piss. I just did this for a terrible, terrible segue into everyone's favorite part of the show. Now, due to internationals in the week, there has been no Schalke game, ah. Oh. But what do we all really know about the city of which Schalke is in? Welcome to Gelsenkirchen. The city of Gelsenkirchen is over here somewhere and it's the 11th largest city of Germany's most populous federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia. Last week I said they had a zoo, but other cool things they have in Gelsenkirchen include this very blue river, grass, German people, a solar power plant, and most excitingly of all, they have the tallest chimneys in all of Germany. And they actually do. <laughs> do you know? Two of Schalke's legends, as Kazora and Fritz Zippan, were both born in the city and actually married each other's respective sisters. Weird or cool? Vote in the poll above. <laughs> that is oh, strange, isn't it, really? Schalke play later on today against fourth place Werder Bremen, who have won three of their last four league games. Oh, so it's going to be a certified toughie. That was... <laughs> But my money is on Schalke's revival continuing. We're at home in front of the 62,271 capacity arena at Schalke. Weston McKenney will continue his goal scoring form before Bentleb scores an inevitable penalty. You heard it here first. And our comment of the week comes from King Tomo 720 Just saying, change how you tell us to like and turn on notifications. You should ask us, not tell. No, you little bitch. You're not a king. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. Not even a thing, but it's just bitch. 
You're our collective bitch, and we'll tell you to turn on notifications. We're not asking, we're telling. Why wouldn't you want to turn on notifications anyway? Are you aware of what happens if you don't turn on notifications and miss a video? A small part of everyone in FD dies. So if you keep those notifications off, before you know it, every single video will be exactly like this. in it. <laughs> End board. That is all for this week. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for some hot photos of me in goal. Subscribe to my personal channel. Subscribe to Euro Football Daily. And don't forget to watch Schalke batter Werder Bremen. More like Werder. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do.